Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on QuickBooks Online. This is Claudia, your host. I've been a QuickBooks Online user for over 20 years. <laughs> I learn all kinds of things by experience, trial and error. I also have a master's in accounting and I absolutely love to help people like you understand QuickBooks Online and solve the everyday problem in a much easier way. Now, today we're going to talk about how to import receipts uh, into QuickBooks Online. So what is the process, what's the best process, and um, how to get everything recorded properly so you don't have duplication and you have all documents in case you need. Okay, without much further ado, here we go to QuickBooks Online. Alright, so here we have uh, our sample account and I did send a receipt. So there is different ways you can do it. First of all, how do you get there, Claudia? On the left-hand side, you can click on Transactions, okay? And right from the menu, you can select Receipts, uh, right here, or you can just click over here. Either way, it will take you there. Uh, you may upload your receipts from your computer or from your Google Drive, or you can snap a picture from your phone, from your app. That is the easiest way. So now the first thing you're going to do, if you're going to send it from your phone, you want to download the app and then you will have an option to snap a picture. All right. So the next thing is to set up the email where you're going to forward the receipts to. Okay. So that's what we are going to show right now. So you want to click on manage for forward email and this is the email that you're going to send it to okay so uh, here I already set up but let's suppose I, I didn't set it up um, here you're going to create whatever email you want to create on the beginning I can put experts here and then at qbodocs.com or you can put whatever you think is, is going to work for you that you're going to remember right uh, so this email is already taken. Of course, that's the one we're using. So that's why he's sh showing that. So I'm, I'm just going to close out of here without changing because that's exactly what we have. So if there was one that you're trying to use that it's already in use, you're going to have to come up with something else. Then you, you want to make sure you select the email that you can forward it from. Okay. And um, once you get the receipt, you send the receipt, you can upload from Google Drive, like I said, upload from the computer or send it uh, from your phone. Uh, okay, once you send it, this is what you're going to see. So you're going to see the receipt here, but there's a few things that you need to set up. So you want to go ahead and click on review. And um, you, you always want to select the payee, okay? So in this case, it's Costco. All right. The next thing is to be able to uh, to select which account did was this charge from. Now, let's suppose that you actually pay that from a personal account or from cash. If that's the case, you want to use a cash bank that is not linked into QuickBooks. Now, if it is linked into QuickBooks, then you can select whatever account that you actually send it to. Now, if it is send to an account and that account is linked into QuickBooks, you want to make sure that you match the transaction. So you're not going to create a duplication. Okay. So you're going to put the date, uh, the date already set up, selected here. Uh, if there is any kind of reference you want to put, like if you pay with a check or whatever, you can put your reference over here. And here we're going to select what the category this is. Let's suppose that is not cost of goods sold, but let's suppose that is office supply. So I'm going to go ahead and select office supplies, the amount. And if there is here customer, you don't have to put anything, but let's suppose that you bought this in behalf of a customer, and then you would put the customer over here. So this is all that I need. I'm going to send it to Chase123. And so we're going to save next. Now, the thing is that this is a manual account, so we, we don't have the bank feed coming in. So it's not going to find me the transaction. But if, if let's suppose this is a, an account that you actually have it there, you can search manually or sometimes QuickBooks will match it for you. We'll, sh we'll show the match. Um, now, if it is correct, you want to make sure you take a look at the date, the amount, the vendor. And if everything looks good, you would uh, match it. But because 
this bank account of course is not linked into QuickBooks it's not real um, I am going to create an expense this is how you do if you have a cash account you will create an expense because it's not clearing it's not coming into uh, into your checking account so we're gonna create an expense and voila so it's out of here right so where did it go it went to the bank the, the bank account now like I said if for some reason this transaction was coming through the bank feed I would come into the bank feed and I would match the transaction here okay and uh, of course there is no correct amount because those are just random transactions but let's suppose that there was so uh, if you don't see the match you can go ahead and click on match and you would search for this transaction for that for that amount so uh, and match it now we don't have the correct match so we didn't go here it went straight into um into quickbooks and this is 2023 so this is nothing to do with what we enter so you can click on bank register here and you will be able to see that chart and of course it didn't come through the bank feed and I didn't match so that's why it doesn't have the green flag but it's over here right uh, and like I said if you do have the bank bank feed coming through you want to match it so you can see that green flag and see that you're not duplicating anything uh, if this goes to cash you would go into ca cash account and see th this expense entered so I cannot emphasize how useful it is for you um, I cannot emphasize enough <laughs> how useful it is for you to use the app the app is is extremely useful so if you're out and about and go buy some supply snap a picture of it you know just go to the main you just open QuickBooks online and uh, click on snap a picture and it's just as easy as one two three just uh, click on the picture and then you can come into com your computer later and review and put it on the right place all right so this is how you send receipts why do we send receipts into QuickBooks we do it just in case you know if you're audited um, you want to show receipts you want to show that this is a legit expense that's the best way to go to be prepared for any kind of auditing and we don't want that but you know it happens that's that's why we do that all right so let's get back here <laughs> okay i hope that this was useful <laughs> now guys if you like this content remember to subscribe now just a small portion of the people who watch our channel subscribe to our channel and it helps us a lot if you just click on subscribe and we promise you that we're going to do our best to bring the best kind of content to help your everyday use of QuickBooks Online. We, we want to solve your mysteries <laughs> and make your life a lot easier. So if you like this content, um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share with all your coworkers, friends and family. We hope to see you next time. And until, until next time, keep on smiling. <laughs>